the movement-based characters in the game. If you look at his move, like the stats on his, move, on his movements, like the speed, especially, like he's one of the top 10 fast fallers. I believe he's one of the top 10, like ground speed, one of the top 10 air speed. The, the, the frog is fast. I mean, you know, in game, he has what, like a 120 ba one base speed stat? Like, makes sense that he would be as wily as he is. And in general, uh, Rob is a character that if you can go inside his zone, if you can break through it and mess him up, oh, things become so difficult for the character. That being said, Rob is no slouch of a character in general. Uh, he has a lot of tools available to him. Range is probably one of the biggest ones. That neutral air can be really hard for a lot of characters to deal with. That being said, though, Kuninja is a character that likes to force whiffs. And neutral air might be safe on block, and it might be one of, like, one of the safest moves in the game. But it is not so safe on whiff. He should be alive here. Okay, great bait. Oh, but he might be running low on fuel. Oh, that's big. By the way, I believe that um the fuel is actually visually indicated by... Wow, okay, he took that stock. Oh, anyway, just finishing up. The little colors on Rob's spine there uh, will change depending on how much fuel he has left. And neutral air is not enough to actually take the stock. Let's see if uh, Jake Gordon can maybe do something with this lead here. Another neutral air, still not enough to do it. He's in a really good position right now. He gets that one big hit. What can he do with it? Combo into combo. Oh. oh, what a good snipe on that neutral B. But in the process of taking that stock, which I didn't actually go away until like 180, 190. Yeah, Charles has taken 75%. And Gwyneth is the type of character where I believe there are things right now. Down tilt up smash might be uh, really, really bad for him. Yeah, as we've seen, like, Gwyneth is one of those characters where he has really good setups. But, like, you know, he hits you with the down tilt. He'll hit you with the dash attack, the grab. And then, you know, very often we'll find a follow-up that, even at these percents, can lead to a stock. Yeah, that platform being there, really helping out Charles, saving his skin. right now on to Charles 143 keep in mind though that Rob is a character where his kill setups are kind of notorious he's able to kill if given the right chance at extremely early percents as we're seeing right there get off stage that diner is massive And now Charles is the one who's on the back foot. He has to take this stock immediately. Rob with a stock lead is one of the oh, most frustrating things to possibly deal with. Okay, good job with the parry there, but an interrupting forward air. He's still alive. All these moves. Yeah, uh, Jake Grant trying to go out there to actually take a stock off stage, but Charles being very wily about it. He's not being locked down. And now he's back on stage, has some control, and is actually starting to set up his projectile wall that can lead to huge damage. Yeah, that Robo Beam is... It takes a while to charge up, but when it connects, it does a lot of damage. I think like 20 plus, possibly? It is... Oh, that down tilt not locking, though. That probably would have been the game, honestly. All right, good job getting the forward throw on the ledge there. But now Jay Grunt is at 104%. And trapped at the ledge. There's so many things that Charles could do now. One proper read could end Gate Grunt. He was doing so well earlier on in this game, but that seems to just be a long lost memory as Charles has been in complete control for the past minute and a half. And there it is, the up smash. Jay Grunt, though, being a good sport about it, you see him uh, stick out his tongue. Sort of like he's like, yeah, you got me.
I... Ha! Stop the into game two. We're actually going to have FD, which is normally one of the best Greninja stages. However, the sort of double-edged sword aspect of it is that if uh, Charles wants to play more of a projectile game, having no platforms might be able to help him realize that particular game plan. And yeah, we're seeing things much more patient on Charles this time. Off stage, can he possibly actually take the stock from this? That back air lasts so long! Jacob finally getting back onto stage. Oh! But this could be big. Oh, he went for a hard read on that up smash. But Jay Grunt actually not giving it to him. And now he might actually be able to get some big damage with his combos of his own. Should be it, yeah, but Jay Grunt still managed to get a lot of damage. It seems like he was going to get almost zero to death at one point, but 131% onto Charles there. Yeah, there we go, down tilt to forward air, doing a really good job of taking that stock without any extra credit being dealt onto him. Charles right now looking pretty good though. <gasps> Goes off stage for a big play possibly. Oh, I think you want to drag down up here, but Greninja does have one of, if not the shortest frames. Like uh, when you when you look at it, his standing position, he is super low to the ground, meaning that a lot of characters more high hitting moves, which is completely whiff on him. Also, shout outs to the protein tag, representing uh, in game Greninja stuff. I like that up. He doesn't want to expend his jump or anything like that. Doesn't want to try and get close to Jay Grum when he's in the middle of an edge guard on him. I'm really liking the micro spacing from Charles. Seems that Jay Grum's just trying to slow things down a little bit, moving a little bit less, trying to choose his position a bit more. But Charles is there anticipating nonetheless a beautiful edge guard sequence from Charles. Closing it out with that roto arm means that now. He is an entire stock above. Oh, what a great shadow sneak. So sneaky right there, if you don't mind. The fact that he was able to dodge the projectile and counterattack at the same time. But that's probably going to be it. Yeah, great stuff from Charles. That game one was looking like Jay Grunt was actually going to take it, but he stayed with it. And then in the end...